By the end of this video, you will know how to make touch controls for your Android and iOS device. So let's get started. So here we have a simple game, which is a clone of a mobile game called Duet. If you want to know how to make this game, which is super easy, then here is the card for that. Now in this game, basically, when you press A and D key, our player will rotate on left and right side. But since our phone does not have such A and D key, so let's make some touch control. To make our touch control, let's go to our player script. And here, as you can see, it is a simple player script where if you press the A key, the player will rotate left. And if you press the D key, the player will rotate right. So first of all, let's make a function called keyboard control and cut these codes and press it in this function. Now call this keyboard control function in the update. Now let's make another function called touch control and in this function we are going to write our touch control. Now we need to know the middle of our screen so that we can separate the left and the right side. We are doing this because then we can make our player rotate on the left or right side when we press the left or right side of our screen. So to do this here first of all write private float screen width and then make another function called start function. This function only executes the code one time when we start the game. So now in the start function write screen width is equal to screen dot width divided by 2. So here screen dot width will calculate the total width of our screen and then when we divide it by 2 we can get the middle part of our screen. Now in this touch control function first of all we need to check if user is tapping or pressing on the screen or not. So right, if input dot touch count is greater than zero, and here input dot touch count takes the amount of touch, which means if you are touching the screen with one finger, that touch count will be one, and if you are touching with two finger, let's say touch count will be two. So what this code says is, if at least one finger is touching on the screen, then the code inside this curly bracket will be executed. So inside this curly bracket, let's write touch dot touch is equal to input dot get touch, and inside the bracket write zero. So this code will take the touch on your screen as an input and when you control and click this touch, you can see different things it takes as an input, like the position of our touch, the tap count, the radius of our touch and many more. So after this, write if touch.position.x is less than screen width and inside this bracket just copy and paste this code so that our player will rotate left and then write else if touch.position.x is more than screen width and in curly bracket copy this code and paste it here which will make our player rotate on the right side. Now what this if and else if code will do is it will see where we are touching on the screen and compare it to the middle of our screen. So when we tap on the left side of our screen touch.position.x will be less than the middle of our screen so the player will rotate on the left side and if we tap on the right side of our screen then touch.position.x will be more than the middle of our screen and player will rotate on the right side. So this is all we need to do. Now just call this function in the update and we are done. So now when you just export this game and play it in your phone, you can see when you tap on the left side of your phone, the player rotates on the left side and when you tap on the right side of your phone, the player will rotate on the right. So thank you for watching. If you want to know how to export your game in Unity, let me know in the comment section down below and within a week I'm gonna make a video out of it. I thank you for watching and I will see you next time.